Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update, brought to you by Pepperstone on Thursday the 5th of July 2018. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's take a look at overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. Of course, it was a national holiday in the USA yesterday for Independence Day, and so very few moves of note in the markets. I will just flag the moving dollar rand, however, with uh, the rand surrendering 0.28% to the US currency on the day. Normal service likely to be resumed today as Americans drift back from the holiday. Right, what's on the calendar? Events that may move the markets. Uh, a pretty busy calendar. Uh, we've already had a speech from the Bank of Japan board member Massa this morning. And to come at 6am GMT, we'll have factory orders data out of Germany for May. And that's followed at 7am by industrial output data for May from Spain. Swiss Consumer Price Index data at 7.15 is next on the calendar. And then we jump forward to 10 a.m. for the first of the day central bank speeches, this one from the Bank of England Governor Mark Carney. He's followed onto a rostrum at 11.15 by the German Bundesbank President Jens Wiedmann. And then we'll have a final th speech of the day from the ECB board member Mersch at 12.15 GMT. At 12.30 GMT, we'll cross over to the Atlantic for continuing and initial jobless claims data out of the US. Uh, the data takes on added significance, of course, this week with non-farm payrolls coming up tomorrow. At 13.45, we'll have the market services and composite PMI data out of the US for the month of June, alongside the ISM manufacturing PMI data at 15 minutes later at 1400. And then at 1800, the main event of the day, the release of the FOMC minutes, the details of the last Federal Reserve interest rate meeting, who said what, voted how, and the infamous dot plot as well. If you're still in the market at 23.30, of course, you can see overall household spending data from Japan and Japan foreign reserves data for June. Right then, breaking news and comment that's caught my eye overnight. And first of all, Asian equities take another leg lower on trade war concerns, with US markets closed for the national holiday. US tariffs on Chinese goods are set to take effect from today, from tomorrow, I should say, the 6th of July. And meanwhile, Donald Trump has tweeted some further comments about lower oil prices being a quid pro quo for US maintained security, thought to be a dig there at Saudi Arabia and other Gulf states. UK police have confirmed that two people taken ill in the town of Amesbury yesterday had been exposed to the Novichik nerve agent, the agent that was used to poison uh, the Scripps earlier in the year in the UK. Food for thought then, something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond. Why not think about this? There was better news from the UK economy yesterday as service sector PMI data showed a strong rebound in the largest part of the UK economy. The data suggested that the rate of growth in the UK in Q2 could be double that seen in Q1. The question is then, is a Bank of England rate rise back on the cards for August? And the chart here is a plot of the services PMI data overlaid uh, with the composite PMI data. And as you can see, both of these uh, key indicators have started to head higher uh, in the latter part of 2018, which is promising and, as I say, may, may allow the Bank of England to raise rates in August if they think that data and that momentum is to be continued. Right, time to read the risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks or the suitability of leverage products for you, then please do contact your Pepperstone account representative. Thank you for your time.